What's up, Taurus? Welcome here, Bull Gang. It's Robin with Aries Fire Tarot. I'm just preparing the Witch's Tarot deck to do your January 2022 month ahead forecast, okay? Always important to remember, guys, these are general readings, so I hope it resonates. I do like to recommend that you check out your moon sign if this one isn't clicking for you. Anyway, I hope you guys super enjoy the reading. Let me know with a comment or a thumbs up or both. Um, <clears throat> sorry, yelling. Uh, anyway, guys, for Taurus in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, I will rely on my guides to push this reading through to you. So let's get cracking on here. I just feel like I need to start. See what the collective energy is for Taurus in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for January 2022. I'm being guided to do a deck cut and show you guys this card. Okay, so... <clears throat> Huh. I pulled the hanged man. Okay, so I do see some sort of ancestral wisdom coming through with this raven. They're going to drop some kind of wisdom on you and it may not make sense to you. All right, just give me a sec. So you could receive some sort of an intuitive flash or some sort of message and you're like, say what now, you know? Um, but you're being asked to step back and look at the whole thing. Like, why would I receive that message? What does it really mean? Don't ask yourself if you're capable of uh, following the guidance that you're going to receive from at least one specific ancestor in January. Ask yourself how you can step back and formulate a plan so that you can carry out this wisdom, this flash, this gateway to your future, okay? So it might not make sense to you in the beginning, but don't sort of push back at it and say, this message is not for me. It is for you. It's going to be different for each and every one of you. So step back maybe do a meditation if that's your thing or have a hot bubble bath and let it roll around in your mind a little bit you might even want to take that statement that you receive from your guide and write it down and kind of look at it and go okay well that's starting to make sense okay so it does have to come to a boil for you because it's going to come in just a little drop and you're going to go oh well, that's really interesting, but I'm not sure if that's for me, okay? So you're being asked to really let this steep into you, to soak into every part of your DNA because this is going to be some sort of a, a page turner for you in the book of your life, okay? So whoops, uh, let me pull another card here. So the hanged man is always very interesting, wow. And the guidance that you're receiving is going to open that pathway to this Ten of Pentacles lifestyle, okay? So it's going to be super important not to shrug this message off because it could feel so counterintuitive or so obtuse. You're like, well, that's not part of my plan, okay? Your plan should always include listening to messages that you get from your ancestors, your angels and archangels, any other guide that happens to show up for you. And it could be such a, like, like that, what? I cannot do that, okay? Just so you guys know, I never in my life ever in, intended to be a tarot card reader, but shortly after my paternal grandmother passed away, I received inspiration from her from beyond the veil to go and get a tarot card deck. And I said, okay, you know, so this could lead you to an immense fortune. This could lead you to like a, a happiness that you never envisioned for yourself. You know, you can see with the 10 of pentacles, there is a multi-generational success. You can see the loyalty and happiness embodied by the character of the dog here. Um, it could lead you to the love of your life, like where you love to live. 
So when you get that little flash of intuition, just go, okay, you know, I can do that, but I need to think about it a little bit. I need to look at it from all angles. Ten of Pentacles, fondly known as the jackpot card in tarot, okay? So just know that that little drop of wisdom is going to take you probably away from the path that you're on right now or just open up a second one so that you can keep on doing what you're doing but add a little bit more. It might seem like a bit of a burden or a bit of a weirdness but you've been given the strength to carry all of this and your jackpot life is at the end of that trail, okay? So I'll pull one more card here at least for you, Taurus. Um, so ancestral wisdom can seem very, very bizarre. Jeez. Oh, so we've got the seven of swords here. I do see where there's a possibility that you might need to cut somebody out of your life, okay? Um, this particular seven of swords, he's a little bit shady. You can see the expression on his face. He's like, I've got what you want, okay? So there is somebody that is a little bit too close for comfort. That could be the beginning of the wisdom where, you know, you're being advised in just this little bit of a whisper, this voiceless whisper in your head, hey, that person has got to go. They have nefarious intention for you. But you could be thinking, well, this is my best friend or this is my business partner. So... It could seem very counterintuitive to you because you feel like you trust this person with everything in your life. But it could be that your ancestor sees somewhere down the road where this person usurps you and removes this jackpot life from you in order to carry it on their own shoulders. And then you'll be stepping back and thinking, why didn't I listen to that voice in my head? So you might want to have to distance yourself from somebody that they seem like they have the best intentions, but you don't know what the road ahead of you holds, but your ancestors and your guides absolutely see it coming. So they're saying, okay, hold on. You got to be careful how close you let this person in, you know, so you do want to do that. And let me pull one more card here for you, Taurus. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, it does seem like you're going to have to turn your back on somebody, even though this could be very uncomfortable for you. You probably have an idea who this person already is. As soon as I said that, you would have to remove somebody from your life. You probably got, with the Queen of Cups, somebody's name in your head. So there is a person in your current reality that could affect your future to a detriment. So you got to be careful around that person and listen to this ancestral wisdom when it comes in because it is for your highest good and protection. Okay, Taurus. So anyway, I'm going to bounce. So guys, good luck in future. <laughs> Take care. Bye.